Yo, what is up guys? This is Advanced AE bringing you an After Effects tutorial on this great effect I made. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So, it's a really nice effect that I got the inspiration from Era Razor on Aerocams episode 29. I thought this would be like a nice effect to kind of copy. Uh, where is it? This, I don't know. I kind of like did my own version of this because when I tried making, trying to copy this, it didn't turn out so well. So I made kind of my own. This is what it is, what it looks like. I have my own little shot effects on it. I can do a tutorial on those if you so wish me to. Probably didn't make sense saying it like that. But if you guys want me to make a tutorial on my shot effects, just go ahead and post a comment below and I can I'll do that it shouldn't take too long but this is what it looks like with the color correction this is just a little edit I've been working on looks really nice if you got the right CC for it so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new comp with the clip make it let's say 20 seconds uh, I'll go with this shot. So you find what you basically find like right when he shoots. This looks a lot better on kill cams, but you can do it on plus five hundreds. I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the kill cam. So he shoots about here. Right here. Go ahead and make a new adjustment layer. Trim it with well, on Mac, it's Option and then Left Bracket. On Windows, I think it's Alt Left Bracket. I'm not entirely sure about that. Then you want to add a Eclipse Mask. So, go ahead and then just click and drag. Hold, hold, con hold Control and Shift, and it will be a perfect circle, which is what you want. And drag it to about this size. So it's basically taking up from edge to edge top and bottom and then you want to go ahead and duplicate it let me see what effects I have because I just came out with it I just thought of this effect last night so I don't know it exactly by heart but so on the bottom one you want to add CC lens it's kind of an old effect no one ever thinks of using it anymore but you want to put both of the uh, masks on subtract so, CC lens, you want to turn the size up quite a bit. Let me see what size I used here. Start off at about two, about 280. So I'll go ahead and put it in 280. So, keyframe that. You, you don't have that magic bullet looks for this, but it, to me it looks better if you ha if you have it on there and you add let me see what effects I have Okay. go ahead and click edit and add where is it? come on oh here we go you want to add a anamorphic flare, set the color to white, turn the size, keep the size at around 180. You can all you can also color this if you want, like you can put it to like any color, but I prefer white. Then you want to add an I think an exposure. Yeah. You want to add an exposure, turn it up to about, that's way too bright, what the heck am I doing? Two? No. One. Put the exposure to about one. And then you want to go over to camera and add a two stripe process. And you can put it all the way up or pull all the way down. I keep it about 20, 30%-ish. And then that's good for this. Go and hit F. Feather out the mask. 
hit MM to pull out all the mask options. Then you want to exp expand it back, so it's about like this. About 300 pixels, so I'll go ahead and go with just 300. And then you want to add a turbulent displace under the distort uh, under the distort effects. The amount put it to 30. Complexity to six or five. I'm gonna do six. The size. What did I use for size? About 200. I'll go one nine. I'll go 195 like I used there. And then you want to hit keyframe the evolution and the amount. Go forward about one second. And print turn the uh, CC lens size to all the way up to 500. The amount on the turbulent displays to zero, and the evolution to however long you went. So I went about one second. So just put on the second one, the first number you put in one for one second. So it will do. It will go all the way from zero to 360, which is one second, one revolution. Yeah. Not making sense with that. It's whatever. So then, on your second adjustment layer, you want to add the effect Colorama. So search that up, Colorama. Looks pretty freaking weird at first, but you need to go ahead and double. You double click the mask, or not double click it. Click on the mask. Hit Command T if you're on a Mac. Control T for Windows. And then you want to drag it, the the sides out a little bit, about like this, so it's more of an eclipse, not a full straight circle. And then turn the feather up to about 400, I think, is what I used. I th or I might have used a little more. I used 500. Okay, that's what I thought I used. So that you want to do your input phase, phase shift, heh, <laughs> phase shift. Yeah. Started off at around 90. I started mine off at 90. So, keyframe it, put it to 90. Gives you this type of color. And you want to... You want to change your expansion on your mask. So it's around, so this is just around the edges. About there, I use around. I think I use 224. So it's around the edges. And then go ahead and you have your uh, phase shift keyframe. You hit U to bring up your keyframes. Go forward to when this ends. Put it to about 180. And then go back to the beginning. I should have keyframed this here. So keep started at zero. When it comes here, move it to. I put mine to 90. I don't do it all the way. And then you have this cool effect that looks a lot better when it has a color correction on it. So let's say I add a color correction. So that's just the, that's just basic the effect there. It looks better if you have shot effects added on it. So let's say I get my shot effects, copy that layer. I put it in here. If I line it up and put it underneath the color correction. Now it looks a lot better. If you can tell. More going on. So Yes, guys, this has been Advanced AE, bringing you that After Effects tutorial and this cool little effect I found. Thanks for watching. I know this tutorial probably wasn't the greatest. This is pro like, I'm not great at doing tutorials yet. Hopefully I'll get a lot better. If you guys like this tutorial, please like and comment on the video. It helps a lot. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribe, guys. Peace.